All right, quickly, before we start, over 85% of you guys are not subscribed, which is quite a bit. So um, if you guys could subscribe, it does help the channel a ton. Uh, you, you can always unsubscribe, but um, but subscribing really does help the channel. Uh, but yeah, that's basically going to be it. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, we're back. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the scab bosses in Tarkov and just kind of giving a general overview and a guide to them for new players or even more experienced players just looking to find um, the most info on the scab bosses just so you have the best chance and know the, the most about what you're going up against. Um, but yeah, um, I'm getting all of this information from um, the Tarkov wiki and I will link it below um, and all the credits to them. I'm just going to be breaking it down and kind of showing you everything in a, in a condensed video. But um, for you to access this page should be um, in, in the description. Um, but yeah, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. All right, we're, we're going to be starting off with what I think is the most common boss. That's going to be Rishala. So Rishala spawns on customs, and we see here he's a 38% chance of spawning um, on the map. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, we can see his health. So Rishala is definitely on the, um, the, lower, the lower side of, of how, how much health the bosses have. With only 752, and right here we, we can see how it how it breaks it down, and then his followers you you can see have a, have a um, 630. So you know they they do have quite a bit of health, but Rashala's health is is pretty um, minimal compared to some of the other bosses. Now if we keep scrolling down, we see quests. Um, he is uh, Rashala is using quite a few quests, whether that's you know to kill him or to get um, his golden TT, etc. Just um um and he he's involved in a few quests all all taking place on customs because that's where he spawns. Now if we get go down here, speaking of customs, all right yeah. So Rishal is gonna have four spawn points. One is near the dorms area. Other is at the new gas station, which is the main gas station that you're probably familiar with. Not just just make sure it's not old gas. Um, he's also at the fortress or stronghold building. Um, there's different names to it. And he's also at the guard checkpoint around the truck. Um but yeah. On customs, I I would recommend learning these, especially if, if you're trying to farm him and his guards. Um, these are pretty common spots in customs. I'm assuming that you've you've you've, you've probably been there, whether you're looking for a shawler or not. You probably visited all of these locations. Um, this gives you quite a bit of info on his behavior, and the main thing people want to see is the loot. So his weapons, he has all these different weapons, and I'm not going to go through all of them, but it's going to be you know the AK-101, AK-102, DTMDR, Psycho-12. Um, H, uh, HK MP5, Clock 17, Golden TT, F1 Grenade, with all of this ammunition for these different guns. So this is going to be the weapons that he carries, and this is the weapons that his followers can carry. So, of course, he's not going to be taking all of these. It's going to be a, a randomization of what he takes. Now, along with that, he is going to have the, um, the MBSS backpack on him, and these are the items that he can have in his pockets, um, or in his, uh, or, or in his, um, well, I guess mostly just his pockets. <laughs> so you can have a Bitcoin, an IFAC, a morphine, some rubles, or some water. Now, obviously, most people are going to be looking for the Bitcoin, and and rubles are pretty good. Um, but yeah, he doesn't drop a ton of stuff. But if 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 you're look if you're a newer player and you're looking to try and get some gear, I would you know I, I would I would recommend checking out Rashala. He's not super hard to kill, and if you can get a, gr a group of uh, of a few friends and you can consistently take him down. It's a good way to farm some loot and get some great experience at the same time. So yeah, his loot's not the best, but it, it's it's also not any, anything to um, to shy away from. And his followers, you can see similar things with their weapons. They also show the headwear they wear, the armor they wear. Most of this is is is, is pretty easy, except for you know there is a chance that they will be wearing you know Gen Four slick or the the six B forty three. Obviously, those are a little bit more um, rare, um, but yeah. It, but even if they are wearing that, and you kill them. That's it's 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 really good armor that, uh, that you can get. Um, along with that, they have some chest rigs. These are honestly, um, apart from like a few, like I think the you know, you know the Black Rock, the TV uh, one hundred and ten, along with the AVS, are all very solid, um, very solid rigs. And then you go to backpacks, the same backpack he's using, and more items similar to Rashala. So. That is going to be the main thing about Rashala, and now I'm going to go into the other bosses. I'm going to go a little bit quick here because I was just kind of showing you on Rashala since he's the first one, just kind of exactly what everything is. And I'm just going to kind of go through um, the bosses now quite uh, a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, but feel free to pause or anything and, and look at it. And once again, I'm going to have a link to this in the in in, in the description, which um, I would re recommend clicking in and checking out f for yourself. All right, next is going to be Killa, which is an, another pretty pop popular boss. He is found on interchange, and he has a 38% spawn rate. 
Um, as you can see, he, he is going to have um, more health than Rashala, but he's not going to have any followers, right? Um, if you've ever seen Killa, he's usually, you know, crouched down by himself, and he he does good damage, which we'll see in his weapons, but he, he doesn't have any followers. Um, he has quite a bit of health and some really good armor, um, but yeah, no followers on him, which can make him easier to some people. Um, location, found on Interchange. It... Um, it's generally going to be in, in, in the center area of the mall, not necessarily the center, but um, in certain places that you can learn and then th there's a really easy path to follow if you are if you are looking to farm him. A lot of the behavior and some strategy to kill him. And now we go on to his loot. He has the AKMS, the PB-19, and the RPK, and the TT pistol, along with a few grenades. He's most commonly found with the RPK that I've found at least. Um, I see him with that most often. And the ammunition is on the right. Now, with that being said, now on a headwear, he always wears his the mask and helmet along with the mask and face shield. Um, it's kind of his 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 look, along with the killer armor, the six B thirteen, uh, the tan version. Um, but yeah, that's that that's his you know killer armor. On the chest rigs, either the Triton or the Blackhawk, both solid rigs. I would I would recommend picking up. And items, you know, is gonna have a morphine, Vaseline, Solowa, and a Tarcola. Um, you know, not crazy items, but um, all of these, all these bosses, which I, I didn't mention, Rashala, can have have, have much greater like, like um, um, loot spawns with key cards, right? It's it says up here actually. I just noticed it. It says can have, can hold any key or key card in their pockets, so you can find anything from like a basic key all the way to like a red key card in their pockets. So um, it can be very good if if you get it, and it's it's it's, it's honestly not. Um, not uncommon. You you can pretty often find a lab ski guard at the very least in their pockets, making you know a, um, a couple hundred k. All right, next is going to be a glue car, and he's going to be on reserve with a forty three percent chance of a spawn rate. Now he is going to have quite a bit more health than the last we've seen with um, one thousand ten, and his assault follower have seven sixty, scout follower five eighty, and security follower eight oh five, and you can see how it's broken down on the right side about how much each body part takes um he is going to be found on reserve on on these spots that, that, that are pretty clearly outlined and you you can pretty often see him along with um Rishala and the other bosses that that have their um their minions running around they're pretty easily spottable and um if if they don't target you at, at first which they often do um but yeah behavior followers strategy loot um uh, all this is the same with all of them and on to the loot he is going to have, you know, the Ash-12, Springfield Armory M1A, the PP-19, um, along with quite a few pistols and two grenades. His ammo is on the right. Now, with headwear, he can be found with any of these helmets. Um, the Fast MT and the Bastion, I find, are, are the most solid, and um, which I like to see on him the most because, you know, it is going to be harder to kill him, but you're also going to get more loot in return. Uh, these ones down here are not as worth it. All right, now on the chest rigs, we are gonna have um, similar rigs to what we've we've, we've seen before. Um, some solid ones overall. And if we go back up, we can then go to armor. He's um, you know found with the pack, so not crazy armor or anything. And items similar to the um, other bosses with the IFAC. He's gonna have a GP coin, also similar to everybody else. Can have a key and a key card or a key card in their pockets. Um, if if I forget to mention this for any of the bosses, just remember every single boss can spawn with a key um, or a key card in their pockets. All right, now onto his followers loop. It's going to be uh, slightly similar with the M1A, the ASFL, AK74M, RPK, AKMS, AKMN, and not all the way down the list. I'm not going to list all these, but they can be found with any of these guns, which is why I highly recommend you to check this out on your own, along with any of this ammo. Now we go on to headwear. Uh, once again, similar to. Um, Similar to other bosses and other minions with the with the helmets, they can be found with you know the Masca, the BN, um, uh, uh, the LSHZ. Actually, um, this helmet is very good. I, I um, you know it's worth quite a bit. Also the the TC800, the U-Lock, the Fast MT, the Alton, the Vulcan. All these all these helmets are pretty good. Um, so if you can drop them, you can get um, some good value out of it. Armor, they can have pretty solid armor overall. Um, there's definitely like weaker ones, but there, there, there's also armors that are worth quite a bit and can provide you good protection if, if you can get them off of them. And chest rigs, similar to what we've seen before, pretty basic. And backpacks, 
there's quite a few backpacks just um the basic the the basic one that that that, that, that you see on most minions and on to items they have um you know um adrenaline propital morphine and an ifac so you're gonna find mostly medical gear on them all right next up is going to be sturman he's gonna be found on woods with a 41 percent spawn chance he is going to have 812 health, which is, you know, on the lower side once again, um, compared to like some of the other ones. And his followers are going to have 740 health. Once again, you can see how it's broken down on the right side. Um, all this on all, all the other ones. And he's found with the SVDS along with the AK-105. Um, and is the ammo that comes with it. And most people, when they're going after Sturman, are going to be looking for the Red Rebel Ice Pick. This is um, the... the uh, um, the uh most uh va va valuable uh melee weapon sorry i forgot the word um in, in tarkov it's used for different extracts it also looks pretty sick and sturban can be found with it so that's why most people are going to be going after it um so i'll just be on, on the lookout for that if you get it make sure to pick it up um yeah and then his followers are i'll, I'll get back to the items in a sec his followers are going to have um si similar gun the svds the viper hunter the sr25 um, all these guns and all these nades along with all of this ammo now I guess I'll just go with the followers. They're gonna be wearing a head uh, headwear of this, you know, no, nothing crazy the s lock um, Some armor similar to what we've seen before some of it's really good. Some of it's not so good chest rigs pretty decent chest rigs Backpacks so similar backpacks to what we've seen before nothing crazy or anything and items can be found with the labs key card and the IVAC once again now back on up to Sturman. Those are the followers. Now up to Sturman. With the items, we can see the IFAC and the Sturman key, along with the um, the a, a key or key card in their pockets. Most people, when they kill them, are going to be looking for the Sturman key. You want to pick this up. It opens a, a little a little crate, which um, can have quite a, like a, a quite a bit um, of good loot in it. So definitely look that up um, and make sure you remember remember to take it because even if you don't open the the crate it's always something good that you can sell on the flea market and backpacks once again is nothing crazy just a few basic ones all right next is going to be sanitar he is going to be found on shoreline with a spawn chance of 35 percent so he has quite a bit more health compared to, to the other ones we've looked at with um 1270 uh but you you can see how, how it's dispersed here and his followers with, with the health of um, 1055 which is also quite a bit and you can see how it's um, dispersed on the right and he is found like I said on shoreline on on these um, spawn locations um, you know he's 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 pretty common and I often find him in in the village area most commonly um, I find him in, in the village also in um, in the resort, which are you know, you know probably the two most common places to find them, but um, yeah, I, I I don't see them at the, at the port often at all, but um, the villages or or the cottages and the resort is where I would look. Now we have the behavior strategy that that the wiki provides, which is all amazing, and I would definitely recommend checking that out. All right, next we go on to the weapons, which he has the SKS, the VSS, he has the M870, he is also going to have the PP91, um, the APS pistol, along with a hand grenade and a melee weapon with the ammo on the right. Now, I'll just start up here. He has the backpacks, which is the Sanitar bag, which um, is found on him, and that's the only one that he's going to have on him, along with the um, the Razor headset. And items are going to be many medical items, along with a key card with a blue marking. Um, and, and a key with tape, um, which are, this one is used in, um, this one is used just for, just for future is used in the, um, in labs. So if you don't plan on going to labs, I would recommend selling this. It sells for, you know, a little bit, but, um, it's better than just holding onto it. Um, but yeah, he's, he spawns with quite a bit of medical stuff being found at the, uh, the resort. All right. And his followers are going to have, um, these weapons and I'm not going to go through all of them because there's quite a bit of stuff to go over. Uh, hand grenades and all of this ammo headwear with all of these um quite better good which like the um lshz and the alton um and a few of these are uh a little bit weaker but um all of them are in general pretty good face covers he has um two of the things needed for kappa along with a balaclava and he has some good armor along with some some weaker armor so it's kind of depending on w what you find and um, some basic chest rigs. All these are are pretty average. And some backpacks. Um, you know, attack two being the best. And um, these get getting like exponentially worse. But you know, they're all fine. And items similar um, 
similar to uh, um, Sanitar, the, gar- the followers are going to have a lot of medical items. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for Sanitar. All right, next up is going to be the cultist, and because I'm not going to be covering the factory boss because he hasn't been released yet, and I would rather him get released, and then I'm happy to do a video on it if you guys would like to see that. Um, but the cultists are going to be spawning on woods, customs, and shoreline. And for woods and customs, he, they have a 28% chance of spawning, and on customs, it, it's only going to be a 20% chance of spawning. Now, um, both the cultist priest and the cultist warrior are going to have 850 total health, and it is dispersed um, on the right, as you can see, with. Um, the cultist warrior having more thorax but less stomach and the cultist priest having equal thorax and, e- and equal stomach um location it, it it talks about the locations that, that, that you can find them on and behavior once again and their weapons they can be found with the pp91 the mp5 the vector um this is the 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 45 um acp one so not the not the tan one um is, is going to be the all black one along with the shrimp pistol the cultist knife and the f1 grenade and the ammo on here that you can see and the items that they spawn with are going to be a secure flash drive or an sas drive once again up here with a key or a key card in their pockets now onto the warrior loot they're going to have an as foul svds sr25 um the uh, sks akm akmn ak105 rbk and um a whole list of guns some of them kitted out quite a bit like like, like this mp9 as you can see um and a grenade once again the cultist knife and a few other melee weapons with all the ammo over here which um you know isn't anything super crazy face cover is the light armored shatter mass uh, shattered mask <laughs> the um oh sh- along with the um you know a few things that you need for different quests and the um the the cap container um yeah Next up is going to be the body armor. It is um, a few of these are are, are, are going to be very solid, which a few of these are going to also going to be lacking, like the Paka. Um, but yeah, all of it's pretty um, pretty simple. On the chest rigs, once again, um, different chest rigs. These are all pretty common ones. Nothing crazy. Backpacks. They have the tea bag or the day pack. Both these are like you know pr- pretty solid backpacks. Um, they don't hold a ton of space, but they're good if you're just starting out. And items they can hold different key cards, and if you can get your hands on one of these, it is going to be very good. Um, basically, all these keys um, sell for quite a bit, um, with the the labs key card selling for the most. Okay, that's going to be it. Um, I, ho- I I hope this video helped you guys and just gave you a general rundown of um, of the different bosses in Tarkov. Um, for you know more experienced players, this might have been common knowledge, but um, I, I I hope it was still somewhat entertaining. And for newer players, I hope this gave you um, some good info on the bosses that you'll you'll run into while playing Tarkov. Uh, once again, this was all thanks to the Tarkov wiki that um, pr- that provides all this information, and I'll have them linked in the description because I just think it's a great website no matter what you're looking for. Uh, but yeah, that's basically gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed, um, a like and subscribe is definitely appreciated. Uh, yeah. Once again, thank you for watching.